Hi there, welcome to Pixel School. This is the third part of Krita Assistant tutorial series. If you haven't watched the previous parts, I am giving the links in the left side of the screen. You can go ahead and watch it. So in this session, I will discuss about the vanishing point and how to combine two or more um, assistant tools to make cool things. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's explore vanishing points. Now vanishing point as the name suggests, it will create a vanishing point and all the lines that in the canvas will follow the vanishing point that is all the lines will converge to that vanishing point. So setting up is really easy. You just click anywhere in the screen and uh, the vanishing point will appear. And now these two gizmos will pre-visualize the vanishing point. It doesn't actually change the vanishing point because this is the vanishing point. And I can change it by this or just simply moving this. Now if I go to the brush, my assistant is already ticked. Now if I draw something, it will always follow the vanishing point. And this is really cool because it helps us draw the perspective really easily. So let's explore the possibilities of combining vanishing point with other assistant tools. Let's try to make a one point perspective setup by using vanishing point and parallel ruler. I'll need two parallel rulers, one vertical and one horizontal. And I'll need a vanishing point. And that's there to it. Now I'll go to the brush and click my assistant and voila this is your one point perspective you just draw and it will automatically align to your need now this is really convenient i have never seen a more efficient way to draw one point perspective So, but you have to notice something, you have to be very careful about your, uh, about your stroke so that you don't, you don't grab the wrong assistant, especially uh, where the assistant get really close. Notice that I, um, I want to uh, grab the perspective assistant, but it's really tough sometimes. And now I got it so you have to be um, careful about that so that's your one point perspective cool isn't it now let's explore the two point perspective so for two point perspective you need two vanishing points and one horizon uh, one vertical parallel ruler so I'll start with the vanishing point I'm setting a vanishing point outside my canvas here and another one here and then I will get a parallel ruler and sorry I'll just place it here and now I'm going to the brush and that's it now I can draw anything and that will be in two point perspective this can be used to draw any concept design especially cars mechanical design really efficiently notice how easily i can draw anything any concept design that adheres to uh, the idea of perspective so easily this is really cool and magic also So let's explore the next one that is a three point perspective. In the three point perspective I need three vanishing points. Mainly the three point perspective is used to sketch bigger picture uh, than the previous ones. Mainly cityscapes or bigger architecture that needs three perspective points. 
so i'll start by putting my first perspective point here and then the second one here and then the last one here and now i can draw by using these perspectives i need to take the assistant and this is my rooftop notice how simple it is to set up a three point perspective or any perspective um, that is a two point or three uh, one point this is like magic and creator does it effortlessly so that's it the three point perspective this is one of the best thing that i've come across but as i have stated earlier you have to be really careful where the lines are close so there's your three point perspective so this was the third part of creator assistant tutorial series if you found this video helpful please like comment and share and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any new upload from my channel so that's it for today guys i'll see you in the next tutorial